Hello guys, what's up? Today we are going to cover how to apply multiple objects or one or multiple modifiers or one modifier in multiple objects in Blender. Because in Max it's very easy, it's very straightforward and this can be a very tricky situation for who goes to Blender for the first time, for the beginners. Why? In Max it's like that. You have a for example, I just create those are just boxes with a couple of subdivisions and this is the same box with uh, mesh smooth modifier and noise modifier uh, placed on top of each other. In Max it works like this. If you select both, copy and then you can paste here as an instance or just paste. And then the, the modifiers are, go, are they will be independent from each other, right? If you apply as, as an instance, for example, whatever you do here, it will affect the other one, right? If you apply just not as an instance, if you just paste, it, it will be a new modifier, like as if you make it unique here. So now they are just isolated modifiers, so whatever you do here, it doesn't apply to the other one, right? That's very easy, straightforward. For who goes to Blender, they probably will ask, okay, I select all the objects and I apply the modifier and just apply in one object. Because as I expected in the, my previous video, uh, if you have all these objects, right, selected, <coughs> and then you, the way you can apply the same modifier to all the objects at once is, um, uh, select the last object which I explained in the previous video why it's very important right now this guy you see it's a uh, no, uh, yellow uh, outline covering the object and the rest is orange it means that this guy is the last one that was selected so none of them has any modifiers applied so they are very basic objects here and this guy has this modifiers applier that's why it turned into this, right? So you can go here and you can set up your bevel, you know? You can set up the distance, you know? Between the tiles, all of that. And this is just a regular, uh, this object originally it's like this. Just, it's just a plane with couple subdivisions and the modifiers create this uh, this shape right and there is a in it has a different uh, material you see the material here right those are the material this is the material on these objects and all the other objects they, they just don't have any material applied right so these objects has a material the other one doesn't have it and I'm going to show you how to apply the modifiers and how to apply the material as well to multiple objects. So, if you want to apply the same modifier, you just select all of them, select this guy for the very last, and then press Ctrl P, oh, Ctrl L, and then it's going to give you the options. You just choose modifier. You choose modifier, now you can see that all the objects has the same modifier applied and creates the same effect as this guy right the confusion now can be if you go to this guy because you think that the modifiers are instances right if you go to this guy and then you change whatever thing here on your modifier right let's say the displays it's not affecting none of the it's not affect any of the others objects you see the only way you can affect all the objects at at this at the same time is if you select all of them right and then you go to your mod file you press alt you press alt while you are doing the changes right you press alt and then you do the changes and we will be affect all of them at all together right the bevel all of them right it's not as handy as the max but it's it's still it's it's okay right you just press alt and whatever you do in whatever in one object in one modifier here it will affect all the other as soon as the other objects as 
they are selected as well if they are not selected let's see if this just these two guys are selected wherever you press alt and modify here it will modify just what you have selected right i hope this helps to understand the idea about it and the same thing for you to apply the same material to the other objects the only thing you have to B is select all of them. This is the latest selected. Press Ctrl L, materials. So you apply the same material to all the objects on your scene, right? I think I think this is helpful. And in the case of the materials, uh, it's a bit different because the material it's created as an instance right as an instance the reason for that for that is because it is because blender prefers to understand that the the whole thing it's optimized is optimized right and it, so it doesn't interfere in the in the, in the size of the, the of the file and the performance and all of that so it creates as an instance so this is just one material apply to all of them if you want to make them unique let's say let's use the max words you go here and it here is showing that the same material is applying in five objects so one two three four five you just have your selection here play if you press here and then now your material it's individual now you see the material was before 001 now it's 002 if you go here you you have 001 and 002 you know and then whatever you do whatever change you do here it will affect just this guy right not the other guys anymore right so that's all that's all for today i hope you like it guys see you soon take it easy